What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today, we're going to talk Power Pages, and we're going to talk about a couple of recent announcements that came out. And these were actually announced a couple of weeks ago at the Microsoft Power Platform conference in Orlando. And we'll see here that Power Pages has really come a long way. It's just, it's just coming along so nicely. I did a first look video sometime back when they announced Power Pages. And since then, it's just looking so much nicer. And, you know, it, it looked so nice when it came out, but now, it, it, you know, it's kind of gone to another level, right? And you can see the product group just putting so much work into it and making sure that all of the features really work well. And it's just a great experience to build pages. And the people who are using the pages, the end users, they're going to reap the benefits of this because it's just such beautiful pages that are being produced now, right? So if you haven't signed up for a trial already, head over to this URL. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click sign in and I'm at powerpages.microsoft.com. I'm going to click sign in here. And what we'll do, we'll quickly create a trial environment and then we'll take a look at these new features that have come out. So I'm going to click get started here and it's going to take us through this wizard. Uh, select one of these here and I'm, I'm just going to say I build these uh, professionally. And now we get to choose a template. And uh, I'm going to choose this one, Site Design 001. Just going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to choose this template here. Okay. So now it asks me to, for a site name. I'm just going to keep all this as the default. Uh, here I'm going to, uh, let's create a trial environment. That's fine. And I'm going to click Done. Okay. So now it says, Thanks, system. We are setting up your site. And we'll just let that go and do its thing. Okay, so the site's been created and we can see here straight away, look at this, it says pr private here, right? As opposed to public. So this means that the site's actually private and no one can actually see it except us. So I'm gonna go and click edit here and let's take a look at some of these new features. And when we first come into this edit screen, you can see here this little uh, wizard that's kind of guiding us through things here. It's welcome to the design studio. And it takes us through here. It just looks so nice, doesn't it? You know, but it so it tells us how to edit sections, how to go through and do certain things, um, choosing the perfect style here. So it just it just makes it so user friendly, right? Uh, power your site with data, and then finally, it's uh, preview your site on your PC or mobile device, right? Let's X out of this. And regarding the preview, if we go into setup here, uh, what we'll see here is site visibility, okay? So with site visibility, we see th this is one of the new options that, that was announced, right? So we have private and public, okay? So if I went and hit the preview button here, um, I can preview with desktop or mobile, right? So if I hit uh, desktop, let's try desktop first, and it says the pop-up's blocked here, I'm just gonna go ahead and always allow, click done, and let's try this again, go to desktop, and there's our URL, and I'm just going to copy this. And we'll see that when it loads, it's actually asking me to kind of log in here, right? So if I were to go to a private window here in Incognito and just try to hit this site here, it's asking me to log in here, right? So this is a big difference from, from previously, where if you uh, had the URL of a PowerApps portal site, then you could see it, right? So um, so this is this is preventing the public from seeing your site until you go to the public setting here. And what if you're developing this and you want to obviously work on it, you know, before you release it to the public? So that's where that login comes in. So if I hit preview here in desktop, let's what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and just log in here, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and click accept here now. And once I hit accept we'll see that the site loads here and, and actually says this site is private. Only specific people can view this site, right? I can click on the learn more button and learn more about the site visibility here. This is the URL, okay? So it's all private for now. And you can see I'm signed in here as a sysadmin, so it knows who I am. What we'll do now is let's go ahead and click public. And now it says setting this site to public. Anyone with the link can will be able to access the contents of this website and view any changes you make to it right away. Okay, so I'm going to go in and set it to public. And we can see here that now it says public and saved. So now if I go to try to preview it, right? So 
let's say I, so, so here I am on the original tab. If I go and hit uh, refresh, it still says private here. And if I, if I actually take this and, and try to go incognito again, let's try this one more time here. It, it actually is still asking me to sign in. Okay. So, uh, what I've found is like, you may need to do a sync here. Okay. So let's do a sync. So now we still have the same setting. Let's go ahead and hit uh, preview again and preview on desktop. And we can see that private message has gone away, right? And if I go and take this link now and just throw this into an incognito tab, we'll see that now I can access the site, right? So, so maybe it takes a few seconds, maybe you need to hit sync, but that's, that's how that works. So that's a, that's a pretty good feature. I like that one. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel out of this and let's go back over here. And one other thing I like in here actually is the go live checklist. And we'll see that. So there's six steps that they have in here. Now the, you can, uh, run the site checker, make sure everything looks good. Uh, pick and allocate licenses, convert your trial from a trial to production, enable content delivery network to load the site faster, uh, enable WAF to secure your site. Okay, and then uh, connect to a custom domain. So it's nice that they have all this laid out, right? Um, previously, when you're building these sites and portals, you're kind of keeping a checklist for yourself. And it's great that they have this baked in here now so that you don't have to remember to do this. And these are all important steps. And then the other announcement, and when, they, when I saw this one for the first time, I was like, oh, wow, this is really cool. Uh, it is basically editing the code here within the browser in Visual Studio Code Online, okay? So you can see there's this little icon here, edit code. So let's go ahead and click on this and we'll see it says, it says as it edit in Visual Studio Code for the web, you are being redirected to VS Code Preview to make your edits, okay? So I'm gonna open Visual Studio Code here. I'm gonna click on this button and it's not opening VS Code on my machine. This is in a browser, right? So it's running in the web in a browser and it just looks so cool. And it says you are editing a live public site. Be careful when you're making changes, right? We know that the site's public. Uh, I'm going to click edit. And then it says the uh, extension power platform tools wants to sign in using Microsoft. I'm going to click allow here and I'll just go ahead and provide my credentials here. And so now I am here and it's gone and opened uh, this homepage. Uh, code. Okay. So you'll see here, for example, it says create an engaging headline, welcome or call to action. And if I click back on my site here, uh, it says, this is, this is the headline here, right? Create an engaging headline, welcome or call to action, right? So back over here, if I wanted to change this, let's just say, I wanted to say create an engaging headline with an exclamation here, right? So I can change that and hit save and it's basically, it says down here on the bottom, right? I, I clicked uh, control S and it says uh, saving your file. So it's gone and saved it. And now if I come back over here, I can click sync and we'll see here, it's, it's, it's actually changed it automatically, right? So it's so crazy that I'm, I'm able to like uh, edit this online using this uh, VS code.dev for the web, right? I, I think it's just so cool. So hats off to the Power Pages product group for making these two things happen. I think they're really exciting updates. Uh, and, you know, as with everything else here, like when you click around, it just looks so good, right? It's such a pleasure to use this app. They've really done such a good job with this. Hope you all enjoyed. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.